Biomutant is less than two weeks away, and I'm firmly on the hype train, but I have no idea what breed I'm going to pick, or class for that matter. But today, we're going to break down all six breeds, their strengths, their weaknesses, and why you should pick them. This video is sponsored by BenQ's latest screen bar product, which I will tell you about later. Be sure to watch the ad as I will be giving away one of these to you lucky viewers out there. Breeds in Biomutant form not only the overall look of your mutant, but they're also responsible for determining your starting stats, as well as some of those secondary stats being your health, your melee damage, your key energy, and your regen. There are six to choose from, Primal, Dumden, Rex, Hyla, Fip, and Murgle. And we're gonna start with the Primal. The Primal is a nimble developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid with a gene mutation, making them nimble and dexterous at the cost of a lesser developed intellect. Basically what this means is that the Primal has a slightly higher critical hit chance, a lower melee damage compared to the average, and an average power level overall, as well as health. They don't really excel in any one specific thing. They're kind of a jack of all trades with that slightly higher crit chance. The best class for a Primal would be the Deadeye or the Saboteur because of this, possibly the Mercenary as well. They will excel in most things, but they're not going to be a min-maxed build. They also have a really cool look. I actually like the look of the Primal the best, so they're probably a good option all around. The next is the Dumden, and the Dumden is the least developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid offshoot that compensates for the lack of mental prowess with physical strength. The Dumden is primarily a melee-focused breed, making them a really good choice for any melee-focused focus class you are looking for. They have a really high melee damage and average health, they're not super tanky, a low energy regen as well as a slightly higher key energy and a lower crit chance. This breed is perfect for Saboteur and the Sentinel classes if you want to be a melee focused class and character throughout Biomutant. This is a really good option for breeds to pick. Next we have the Rex and the Rex is an extraordinary developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid outcast with an even DNA string making it apt for both physical and mental challenges. Basically what that means is that they are good at almost everything. They do have a slightly lower melee damage, so I wouldn't pick this breed if you are focusing on melee damage, but they have a decent power, key energy, energy regen, as well as a high health. So it's a good breed to pick for new players, especially if you're not sure what you're going to do and you just kind of want to dabble in a lot of different things. You could also really pick any class with the Rex, but the Psy Freak would be a good option because of their high intellect as well as power and key energy. And now it's time for today's ad. Today's video is brought to you by BenQ's new screen bar monitor light. This space-saving monitor light is perfect for those of you that have a small desk space and still want to have a lamp or a light source on your desk. The light features auto dimming, hue adjustment features, as well as a matte black USB powered cable. The light doesn't create screen glare on your monitor, which a lot of desk lamps definitely do in my experience, which is a huge plus. I've been using the light for a few days now, and it's actually a really good addition to a desk, especially for those that are studying or in university just like myself. My room is naturally very dark and just using this light means that I don't have to turn on all of my camera lights and give myself a massive headache just so that I can read some text for uni. This is a really good addition for those of you that study or read a lot at your desk so that you don't have to use a room light or any other lighting aspects. It's just a nice light that you can have sitting comfortably on top of your monitor. And thanks to BenQ, I'm giving away one of these lights to you guys as well. All you have to do is like this video and comment down below. You could comment anything. Tell me why you want one of these lights. Tell me what Biomutant breed you're going to pick or tell me your pet's name. Anything will do. I'll be drawing the winner on the 26th of May. Thank you to BenQ for sponsoring this video. The next breed we are going to look at is the Hyla. The Hyla is a regenerative developed anthrop anthropomorphic breed. I feel like I should be able to say that word now that I've said it four times. A hybrid with a gene mutation, making them extremely tough and resilient. This breed is a perfect tank build. They have a high starting health as well as a slight boost to the armor as well. They have an average power and key, so this isn't a good choice for a Psy Freak kind of build. However, if you are looking to be a melee focus build or just a general tank, this is a really good option. The recommended classes for this build is the Sentinel or basically anything that really focuses on the tankiness of your class and your breed. It's also a good option for new players as well because of that 
high health and armor. Next, we have the Flip, and the Flip is renowned for having a highly evolved mind. Its genius is directly interlinked with the power of the key, which amplifies their psionic output. Basically, this is the breed you want to be for a Psy Freak. These have the highest starting intellect with a really big boost to power, key energy, and energy regen. This is a really solid option to pick to start off your build if you do want to be a Psy Freak and focus on the Psy or the key aspects of Bio Mutant. They do have a lower health, armor, and melee damage. It's just something to be aware of if you do pick this class that you're not going to excel in these things, and you probably want to be trying to stick to ranged as much as possible, as well as using your key abilities. The last and certainly not least breed is the Murgle. The Murgle is the definition of an idolized breed. Its evolutionary lineage has gone in a direction where form and appearance have dominated over function. They do actually look pretty cool. I really like their ears. Now, this breed is really an average stats across the board, except they do have a higher loot chance than all of the other starting breeds, as well as a slight increase to your critical hit. They also have a really high barter. So they're basically a really good charisma based class. If you you do want to talk your way out of things as well as buy things on the cheap and basically other than that they're pretty average across the board except a slightly lower intellect being power key energy and energy regen so i wouldn't pick this class if you are looking to be a psi freak other than that any of the classes would go well with the mergle they are a pretty solid option all around it's just that the psi freak is probably the only option i wouldn't look at investing in here once you have picked your breed you're going to be able to mutate your character specifically focusing on one of those six attributes being strength, vitality, agility, charisma, or intellect. Or you could just stay in the middle if you don't want to specialize in anything specific. Now, what I would recommend here is based on the breed that you choose and its strength, whether you know it being flip, for example, being strong in intellect, power, key, and energy regen, to put this towards the intellect level. I wouldn't go all of the way, as you will notice that if you do move the cursor all of the way into intellect, you do lose a lot of points in some of the other categories, depending on what you focus on. So you can really only focus on one specific attribute, though you can kind of be halfway in between two if you do want to go that route. I would suggest to just move slightly into that option of the main key focus of what your character build is going to be and then not go too far because you will lose too much in those other stats. Although if you do want to be really strong in one aspect, maybe that is vitality for health and armor or, or intellect for using those psi abilities, it is an option that you can do. It's also worth noting that you can't adjust your luck here so your critical hit chance and your loot chance won't go up depending on the mutations that you do put onto your character so if you do want to have that higher loot chance the option is to go mergle they are the one you want to pick if you do want to be able to have a higher loot chance to get better loot and hoard all the items that you find throughout the game world there are other choices that you can make during the character creator although if you do want to see those please check out my character creator breakdown video which i will have linked here if you are interested in seeing that Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Twitch, where I stream two days a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, Australian night times. Hope to see you guys there in the next stream. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Norza, and I hope you have a great day.